What's up friends of the good mood? This is Money and welcome to the brand new 6.2 robot just arrived in War Robots with the latest update called Scorpion. Okay, we see it here fully maxed on the Battle Rack account, which is an account that belongs to Pixonic, and I can use it to make reviews and test all the new stuff immediately and give you my opinion. And uh, I'm going to give you my opinion on this, and guys and gals, I'm afraid of this. Even in a team-based game mode, this is going to be insane. You can teleport behind an enemy through walls, kill him, and teleport back into safety uh, whenever you want. And uh, now, that's Beacon Rush. In the second match, I'm going to show you Free For All. In a game mode, Free For All, where it's all about getting kills. With this thing, where you basically jump behind someone through walls and insta-kill him and then teleport back into safety, that is absolutely insane. Let's test this thing here, and uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you my opinion and my my feedback on the robot. Uh, I am really afraid of this, because right now it's new, not many people have it. Um, but, you know, imagine when this is like everybody is running around with this, and there's nowhere where you can be safe anymore, alright? So, let's take, for example, uh, someone over there, um, or this guy down there in the tunnel. Look at this, okay? Here we go, and boom, behind him. Zap, bap, 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 bap. And he's like, what the heck? Where the heck did you come from? And, um, yeah, there he is. He's dead now, right? And now I teleport back into safety. I'm right where I started a second ago. Oh, oh wait, that's actually... Oops, that's not safety. Uh, although he's currently reloading, it seems. But uh, that is not how I define safety. Um, but you get the, you get my drift, right? And now imagine in the second video app, uh, the second match I'm going to show you on free for all. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see more such new stuff, here we're teleporting to him. Then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And here we are, right behind him, and there he's gone. And there are more people. And as soon as it becomes difficult for me, and there is too much stuff happening, all I I need to do is press one button, and boop, I'm back. Oh, look. Someone I can kill. He's right in front of me. He was where I just teleported from. <laughs> okay. That was random and lucky. But my lord, this this is really crazy, okay? Um, that is... This is going to be a serious thing in free fall. Teleporting over to him. I'm turning around already in advance. And boom, boom, boom. I'm behind the Leo. He can't really do anything here. I'm right behind him. And oh, he's healing. Wow, he's got some health. I'm gonna go away, man. I have to flee from the Leo. I can't believe it. The Leo is too tough for me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I'm suppressed, so I may as well just stop firing. By the way, now I have uh, the overdrive unit active. You know what that means, right? That means the enemy is gonna receive twice as much damage now. Every time I jump onto them, they're gonna receive twice as much damage now. If that's not crazy, then I don't know what is. So, d let's heal up all the way. Recharge HP and teleport behind this poor guy. And boom, 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 boom. And he's pretty much done. That's it. He's pretty much done. He's down to low last stand already. And uh, since I don't know what's going to happen here, I'm rather teleport back into what I consider a bit more safe territory. Okay, healing up. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, he's now there. He's got his ability. An, an, an Aochun is flying. Now, an Aochun after his flight is gonna be the easiest kill you can ever imagine. Let's take a look at the Aochun. He's going to try and fly into safety all the way back there. And I need 350 meters. That's my teleport range. And now look at this poor guy. His stealth ability is gone. What is he gonna do? And with overdrive unit, I can basically just one-tap everybody here. Look, before he even realizes what's going on, I turned the beacon white, so I'm staying on it now. Because I wanna I wanna get the beacon here. Boom, 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 boom. And he almost bit the farn right there, dude. He almost bit the farn. I have the beacon, so I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teleport into the Ares shield. Look at this. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. I'm even holding the beacon still. That is just completely nuts. That is just completely nuts. Teleporting back, which is not really a teleport back, because I'm going back to where I just started from. But as long as I am alive, and as long as I have health, I can still uh, attack people and, and ambush them. Like this guy up there, for example, okay? And boop. Boom, 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 boom. 
And now he's using... Okay, he's losing his leech ability now. And look how much chaos and havoc I'm causing here. Look at this. This is just me. This is just one robot here. Uh-oh, I'm afraid of this guy right now. Uh, I, but I guess I should have been afraid of the other guy. Now, let's use the same thing with, um... Uh, with... With the other weapons here with atomizer and quark i have a quarker i have two setups for you here one with atomizer and quarker and i'm teleporting behind the enemies here to get away from the leech and he doesn't even know i'm capturing their beacon i am in the enemy territory now so i'm jumping away uh i didn't want to get killed by the other Ao Ao Ming there but once I get increased amounts of damage, then I can do something, okay? Let me just let him shoot me, so I get down to lower amounts of HP. I lead a little bit less, a little bit less HP. And now, look, look at this. With increased damage from the overdrive module, I'm behind him, taking out this Ao Ming Titan, while he's like, doesn't know what to do. I'm healing up, and I'm even staying here because I don't need to go. There's no other threat to me at this point. Uh, except, of course, for this guy. That I want to escape from. He's going to fly. Oh, boy. No, okay, 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 okay. The fact that he spawned right there got me killed. There wasn't anything I could have really done there. Uh, the moment uh, he spawned there, I, I should have probably retreated. But, you know, I'm still learning. I'm not, I'm not an expert on playing this game mode yet or this new robot. I'm also learning, as we all are. Every time there's something new, we have to learn how to play it, right? And that was a serious mistake I just did. I should have known that he was going to jump back. I should have actually known he dropped an Ao Chun. I, sh I could have actually known there was an Ao Chun coming. Because the only thing that was really dangerous here would have been an Ao Chun. And guess what he had? It was an Ao Chun. The one and only thing he could have dropped to really get me destroyed. No problem. And he had that. And I could have known that because everyone has 10 Aochuns in their hangars now. He's trying to capture the beacon. And I'm going to try and prevent that from happening. Okay. So now this guy. He's lagging so much that it's impossible for me to kill him. I need to drop my last stat and drop down to lower amounts of HP. Uh, a little bit more damage. Could you please hit me? Where are you shooting, dude? Now. Now, with increased damage output on the overdrive module, I can kill him, like, instantly. Capture the beacon at the same time and block all their incoming damage. Once my thing is gone... Okay. Then I'm coming out of this. With another damage mode, and I don't know how much stuff they these guys have. It's, pr it's absolutely crazy how much they have, dude. But I've got the beacon, turn it around. Somehow he's sending his rockets through the wall, that's also crazy. It's a very close match, by the way. The enemy team must be so bad, so much stronger than my team. So I'm gonna kill that Titan now. Here we go. Let's start with him. He's done. Now we're going for uh, the Ao Ming Titan here. And once he's done too, switching over to this dude. Face shifting, okay. We're gonna be destroyed here, I think, any moment now. I'm trying to stay underneath him. He doesn't want to expose himself to my team, so he's flying back, which is good for me. And... Rup, low HP with you, and I did not catch a single rocket from him. Because I went out of the corner. And there we go. Nice. What a crazy match this is. Now, second match, as I said, ladies and gentlemen, will be free for all. And I'll be showing you what this thing can do in free for all. We can respawn it also as many times as we want in free for all. And this with the ability to kind of one tap pretty much everyone. Poo, that's crazy. Um, so again, my feedback at the end of this video, I have not run a Titan. And I have 4.6 million damage and obliterated the enemy team with six beacon caps. 14 kills. And uh, there was quite some meta in the enemy team too. Lots of strong players with decent equipment and they couldn't really do much against this. Whoa. Okay. Free for all time. Let's go and do this. See what this beast can do in free for all. Spawning in first with the scorpion here. Again, 350 meters range. We, ha we have to have to activate the teleport. And then there's even a built-in weapon on it. Um... 
I'm not sure what they're having. I guess I'm waiting for my good moment. Trying to explore and as much as I can. So he's trying to fly away and that's actually good for me. He landed up there in safety or what would be safety. Whoa! Dude, let me teleport back up. Something is weird. Dude, I was able to fly through the map. I just discovered an awesome bug. If you teleport and the enemy is standing with his back towards an open map, uh, he, he's going to basically teleport. You're basically killing yourself by jumping down. That's interesting, dude. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and run away from him so that I have something to teleport behind to, right? Here we go, and there we go. Boom. Okay. I'm suppressed! Someone suppressed me before I went! Are you kidding me? The enemy there suppressed me before... Before I teleported! What a massive thing was that, dude! <laughs> this, this was so sick! That was such a timed bad luck on my part! But look what I'm gonna do to this guy. He just used his ability. Look what I'm gonna do to him now. Okay, inside his shield I'm gonna teleport. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I went out of the shield again. But look how little chance he's got. And that was not even all of that with the, with the uh, increased damage. Let's let's walk all the way over here. The beginning was really bad, by the way, because I didn't get any of the in initial kills. See, now we see an Aochun. The Aochun needs to land in safety, right? That's what the Aochun needs. And if the Aochun can't do that, then the Aochun is pretty much bummed right there. So, teleporting here behind the Aochun. Boom, boom, boom. Last stand running on him. He has a lock-on problem here. Boom, boom, and then I'm teleporting back into safety. Bup, there it goes. See that? Jesus! This is basically ruining free for all completely, dude. This is the end of free for all, guys. When, when, imagine six of those players running these things. All you see is going to teleport back, teleport forth, back, forth, back, forth. Whoa, okay. Wow, the tele... <laughs> The lags are real, man. Okay, I think he's waiting for me to teleport back. One guy is camping my teleport back spawn. Did you see that? This guy, I think, was camping my teleport back point. I'm not sure if that's true, but it looks like it, it was. Uh, let's walk underneath him, because that means he's losing his lock on. And then finish him off. Okay, I have to teleport here. Boom. <laughs> There we go. And see the Ravana running into nowhere. Because I, I could just teleport everywhere. And he is following me, man. He wants me so much. And I'm not even engaging people right now. You can't even say that I'm really playing for super awesome. I'm not playing very well or anything. I'm just walking around, teleporting to people, instantly killing them, and that is it. This guy, oh my god, how much he wants me is insane. Do you see this? He's leaving me no choice but to teleport behind him. He's leaving me no choice. This is the only option he's leaving me with. And the crazy thing is, after now, I can teleport back and he loses his lock-on again. Every time he loses his lock-on because he has a lock-on weapon, right? So I'm utilizing this teleport back and forth against him, making his lock-on weapons completely worthless. This guy, he would be relatively safe. But sorry, man. I'm a fell. Uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm a scorpion. And now your lock on is established, and I'm back again. Oh my lordy. Uh oh's. Aochun is ready. By the way, you can also teleport behind. Um. Uh oh. He, he just used all his ammo. I don't know why he was firing when he couldn't actually hit me. That was really weird. Is that another Aochun? Yep, it is. And I just instantly killed him. Let's try, try, me, try and run away through this. Away from these guys because I know they're trying to squish me in the corner. Now I have a 16 second. And he's coming this way, he's coming this way. So this is it for me now. I'm pretty much done now. Unless I can make him lose his lock on, which did not work because his stupid spider legs were blocking me. But let me show you what happens 
when you jump behind someone in the air, okay? Uh, when someone is flying, like a Titan, for example. The way they just approached me was godlike. Did you see that? It's like they had an unspoken commute bond. Okay, guy. Uh, okay, dude, you go this way. I go this way, and then we're gonna squish him, right? Right. And they did just that. They made 100% sure there is no chance for me. Okay, here we go. Let me show you this. You're actually in the air. I'm up. I'm up on the corner now. This is so ridiculous. I'm up here now. There's normally no way for me to get up here, but, <laughs> but I'm able to get here now because I was able to jump. Actually, I'm not sure if that shouldn't even be possible. I feel like this is actually considered the outside of the map. I feel like this is considered out of the map, actually. Trying to get him down to last stand before he flies. It worked. Oh yeah, by the way, we also have resistance, yes. The robot also has resistance when he has the teleport running. Uh, the ability where he jumps on someone. Imagine this! Why does he also get resistance? How does that make sense? That was my kill to begin with. You didn't deserve that anyways. Boop. Hi. Oh, you would hit me now, wouldn't you? Yep. Sorry. And bye-bye. This is like... This is... And I didn't have the damage boost running. I, I did not have the damage boost here active from uh, from the overdrive. Now, you could, of course, run this also with, uh, with last stand, right? You could run this setup with last stand. Imagine what this would do. Now, what is he gonna do? He just used the stealth. What is he gonna do? That's right. He's gonna look back behind any moment because any moment now, I'm right behind him. And then I'm teleporting back again. Which probably was a mistake. I could have now finished him. Uh, but I just want to show you the uh, this insane um, universal thing you have going here. How immensely uh, effective this is, right? Now I'm escaping this guy by teleporting behind him. And then when the other guy lands, I'm teleporting back. And I'm going to take him out. Look at that. Boom. That was actually a death scenario for me. Normally I should have died right there because they really... They're going for me, both of these guys. And, um, yeah. So, and he can't tell when I'm about to teleport. He, he can't tell. There it is. Now, oh, he reacted very well this time. You see the built-in weapons shooting too? And look how fast he goes down. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake as you see right now. And this is a falcon. He's gonna jump on me. Or not. Or maybe he isn't. Oh god. He used his jump, so we have to get him here. His last stand is rolling. I have no other choice, but I do have resistance running. To get this kill really fast. And then teleport back in the last second, hopefully making him a bit confused. But he wasn't actually that confused here. He's gonna jump. There it is. And he's gonna lag in midair. But I got him. And I think we have only ran one scorpion, or have we run two of them? Maybe we ran two. I think we ran two scorpions. Yeah, I think I started with a storm version. So he's gonna lose his lock on now. Boom. He's gonna have to retarget all the way. Running past him real quick. And as soon as he establishes his lock on, I'm behind him. And normally I wouldn't stand a chance here with this little bit of hail health. But every time I use the ability, I can teleport behind him. And he has a hard time now getting me in sight. Because, look, he loses his lock on. See that? His target. Now he's est est establishing a target lock. And finally he gets the target lock established. I'm behind him. He locks on again. He locks on again. He finally has the lock on. I'm behind him. And now I'm dead because I had no nowhere to go. But if that wouldn't have been a full falcon and I'm at low health, I would have still been able to defeat him there. So yeah, we did run two fel uh, f um, scorpions here. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm really afraid. Let me give you get, get to my feedback part. And again, if you like the video, guys, and you want to see more new stuff coming out and giving you, you seeing me uh, display that and also telling you what I think, then, uh, wow, 4.5 million damage again. <laughs> no problem. Uh, then subscribe to the channel. Now, what do I think about this? First, I think they did, they, they did um, reduce the range. Uh, the Scorpion had a much higher range... What is going on? I think we crashed. No matter. Um, I think. Uh, by the way, the crashes are not Pixonic's fault. They're actually on my emulator side, so it's something on my system. But we don't need to look at it for this, I guess. Um, the uh, the Scorpion did have a longer teleport range on the test server back, and I think they reduced it. So that was definitely a good thing. You can no longer teleport 500 meters or whatever and really upset the game. You now need to let the you can basically avoid this guy jumping behind you if you just keep him out of 350 meters range. But you have seen it's hard to do that and not always possible and when it, he when he can't- you never know when he's gonna ju jump back behind you. Maybe we need some kind of effect where the name of the enemy basically gets a different color and effect and then you know, uh oh, he's teleporting somewhere so you can already look behind you. Maybe that would help, right? Because right now there's no indication for you as an enemy to see where he's going to teleport or even if he's actually teleporting. Suddenly he's somewhere and then you're getting hit. So if there was some kind of effect on the name signifying even through walls that he's performing a teleport, then you could probably pre prepare yourself a little bit by turning around, okay? So that would be one thing that would be very useful and secondly, uh, I'm not sure if this thing gets resistance. Hold it on. It has a really high amount of HP for an assassin. Just to compare, this is an assassin, okay? 148,000. This is an even crazier assassin that can teleport into this assassin's shield and just kill him in two shots. And this thing gets more HP. So it should not have resistance. Um... Duration, built-in weapon range, teleport, damage reduction 50%. It has built-in 50% resistance when it performs the teleport attack. And this is not correct. In my opinion, that should go. I've said the same thing on the test server. They still decided to bring it exactly this way, which means they're probably not going to listen to me when I say it again. But I, in my opinion, the, the, the resistance should go. It's an assassin robot, and as an assassin robot, it should not have a ridiculous amount of HP and then resistance. The Phantom is already a bit of a problem because he has that too, uh, but at least he can teleport onto you. He cannot te just teleport back. You can kind of plan that. Uh, but this thing, you can't plan the encounter. He is the one making the encounter happen whenever he wants on his terms. And uh, therefore, this thing should not have damage resistance. I strongly disagree with that. And I just want to make sure you know that too, ladies and gentlemen. But other than that, it's an interesting concept. The firepower is not completely insane. It's, um, and the HP is not going completely tank level, but con for an assassin robot, I think it has too much HP. And considering that, no resistance it should be there. The built-in weapon, from what I've seen, does not really do that much damage. It's more like an interesting aspect. Um, but, uh, and I, I also, we need to fix the, the things that this guy can teleport into open areas and basically fall through the map uh, because of the teleportation, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I've said what I've had to say. It's gonna be very devastating in free fall. This thing is going to destroy free fall as we knew it. Um, uh, and uh, the only thing that can kind of fight back is the Ravana. Um, but even the Ravana just can't kill him because he will simply teleport back if he knows he can't handle the, tar the target. So, um, yeah, there's that, right? You can't kill this thing unless you have someone sitting where he teleports and then you have someone sitting where he comes back after the teleport. You kind of need two players to kill it. Uh, <laughs> and how do you know when and where he was going to do a teleport? You never know. So, yeah, it's a bit crazy, it's a bit tricky and it's probably too chaotic. And that's why initially on the test server, I already said similar things and I said it would upset map uh, some game was like free for all quite a bit. Let's hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Um, this was my review, my first hands-on review on the uh, Scorpion on the live server after uh, it received, uh, after it was patched onto the game uh, with max condition. Really powerful. Let's hear what you have to say. Thank you guys, uh, yeah, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.